Thanks for tuning in to Sports by Jared. If you want to stay up to date on NBA news, hit the like and subscribe button and turn on your notifications to not miss out on our next video. Today, I want to talk to you about Brandon Boston Jr. Uh, he's one of the top recruits uh, going to Kentucky. He's a long guard, probably about 6'7". He really looks a lot like Brandon Ingram when he plays. Uh, he's projected to go in the top five next year. I want to give a, a quick review of his game and what you might expect to him from him when he hits the NBA next year. Uh, first off, when you see him play, uh, he doesn't look like that great of a shooter. He looks like he's pretty good off the dribble, um, but he has some trouble blowing by guys at the college level. I think realistically his game fits more of the NBA where college is more packed in with the 2-3 zones or the big man camping in the lane. Uh, the NBA is more fit for transition where I think he would he's built to, to succeed in transition. He, he's more of a transition player right now. I think over time he'll develop, you know, the jump shot. Uh, when I'm looking at him, he has that Anthony Edwards ability where like one game he might score like 8, 12 points on horrible shooting and another game he might score about 25, 30 on an efficient clip until he gets stronger. Um, he, he will struggle even at the NBA level with just people's strength. He, you can, for his first couple of years in the NBA, you can almost expect similar production to Brandon Ingram. It might take him four, maybe even five years um, to be the player that he's going to be. Um, he might not even be the guy who produces on the team that draft him. He might be one of those guys that he gets traded and then he becomes the all-star caliber player because he, he has the potential. It's just more he needs uh, a better basketball IQ, um, a better deep-range jump shot. Right now his jump shot's pretty shaky. Uh, he also can work on a back-to-the-basket game. I think what he's missing in college is that he's about 6'7". Most of the guys guarding him are about 6'2", 6'3". If he had a little bit of a back-to-the-basket game, I think that would help him out. Um, if you see some of the earlier games, they're losing to some teams that they could have easily beat, but it's just um, loss of IQ, not having enough floor um, spacing on Kentucky right now. But if, if I'm a team drafting and I got, you know, a late lottery pick or mid lottery pick, um, I would definitely consider picking him up. Uh, he could fit on a lot of teams, but uh, if you're drafting him, realize, you know, he's not going to be an instant impact guy rookie year. It's probably going to take him two to three years to maximize. Even though while he, it might take him two to three years in his first year, he can be a decent guy off the bench, maybe get you eight, nine points. But his ceiling is a 20-point-per-game score in the league. He has a nice handle, nice little wiggle off the dribble. Um, he has a nice form on his jump shot. Um, right now it's not going down. I wouldn't put too much stock in that just because, you know, with corona, not having the offseason that they would traditionally would have had, that could go a lot into his jump shot not falling. Who knows? Um, he could be a very good jump shooter by the time he hits the NBA. Um, you never really want to put too much stock in a freshman year shooting. It can all, it can be a lot a multitude of reasons why a guy struggles shooting in his first year. And the Kentucky uh, drills, um, he ended up being one of the best shooters in the drills. He just wasn't. Um, he just hasn't been able to produce in the games. I think athletically, he's he's a decent athlete, not amazing. I think he has like a 36-inch vertical, which isn't bad, but in the NBA today, it's not what it used to be. Back in the 90s, uh, 80s, you had a 36 vertical. You were considered to be more of an athletic guy. I think he has range, he has length that you would like, but um, his career could go either, either way. Um, and that's about it.